Hello everyone, welcome back. This is B-17 Flying Fortress Leader by DVG Games, designed by Dean Brown. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, as you see, my uh, board is quite cluttered with Luftwaffe Squadron. I kind of let things get away from me a little bit in my intensity of trying to get these uh, ME-262s out of the way. and. Um, we went through a three week period basically where we only got five points because we weren't getting good um, intel and I just it's just uh, so it kind of got away from me now we're into the three weeks per month and it's going to be even harder so I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try first off we lost a recon um, now you know what, let's start at the beginning. Go all the way up here, the week start, receive our weekly SOs. And we carried four over thanks to the uh, great uh, homeward bound um, event card. We, gain, we have four carryovers, so we have 32 to deal with right now. And I don't believe any of my targets will take away from that. No. So, um, we, it gives us 32 points. So, what I need to do first and foremost is buy back the recon I lost. And I will spend 8 points and get him on the 8 point side because I think it's worth it. So, I'm going to pop 8 of them off all right off the bat. Next off. We have SO adjustments, non purchase groups, commanders, recon assets, done that. We're going to do our recon ass uh, or recon missions. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to recon one factory and one airfield. And if we get bad recon on one or the other, then at least I've got a, an airfield to go after. And, and uh, at, the, at the least, we'll go after two airfields. But I want to go after one of these threes. And I was looking at him before I started the video, and I think it's going to be this guy right here. And try and get rid of a reserve and um, three victory points at the same time. Also, right now, 14's not guarded. we got to fly through these, and we could draw in these, but 14's not guarded. So, And I don't mind flying in through some trouble right now. Our, our pilots are all great. This is going to be the last time it's going to happen. Because I have a feeling we're going to start losing some of them to reassignment soon. So we're going to go after him. And we're going to go after one, one another airfield. And we have a high intel on that airfield. Um, I should have four airfields, I believe, according to the scenario. Did I forget to put one out there? Three airfields. Never mind. Believe that. We're only supposed to have three. So I think it's time to lay heavy on one of them too. So we got hex 11 and hex 12. Three bombers can go to either one. Um, let's go, you know what, let's just go to um, Let's go to hex 12. Why not? No, yeah, yeah, fours. I think we can still get there with our short range guys. Yeah, they got a range of four. Because I'm um, fairly certain some of these guys up here are going to have to rest. So we're going to have to split duty on one of them. All right. So I believe we are ready to determine weather and zones. Oh, we got a roll, roll for them yet. Um, start off with this recon on the airfield in Aachen, Germany. And we're going to roll a D10, and we roll a 2. So we get absolutely nothing out of that one. That's been the way it's been lately. Um, and hopefully we got a little better on our aircraft factory. And we roll a 0, so we get high on that. So that's what we're going to go after. We're going to go after... We're going to 
go after uh, target three and target eight. And uh, target three is um, a four bomber, and target eight is a four bomber. Both of them are worth uh, three and four, three or four victory points. Um, hex five, range three. Both of them are going to be going into the same general area. No, they're not. One's going to be going here. For some reason, I'm thinking 14, but 14 is one of these special weapons. Um, 14, range of three. Oh, boy, I think I just shot myself in the foot. Yeah, I did. For some reason, I was thinking I was a range of two. Oh, well. We can make this. I just can't take the 322nd. So that's all right. We can do that, though. Um, first target will be target eight, and we will send. That's going to hex five, which is down here. So that's going to be my. I'm going to send these guys down there. That's going to be the hardest one. They'll, they'll get it. That'll be my second wing. They have the least damage. Um, the other reason I want to go deep into where we got a lot of aircraft and everything is because I want to try to shoot down as many as possible and get rid of some of these aircraft uh, squadrons, Luftwaffe squadrons for the end of the month. And um, because it's the end of the month, we'll be able to get some repair points in there and bring some of these down. So I'm hoping to have a have a good shoot down turkey shoot uh, all right target number eight uh, AF 12 and that'll be my second wing and they will take with them okay control C let me do my paperwork I hate paperwork but it's necessary this is the last week of September, so we're going to see the 262s next time. And this is going to take the 20th with them. Alright, and the second target will be target 3, and uh, that'll be AC 21. And I think what we're going to do. He's in pretty good shape, so I'm going to take these three here, and then I'm going to add in, that's a, three bombers or four bombers? Four bombers. I'm going to take these three here, and here's hoping. Uh, the 390, three, 398, so 398, what was that? I forgot the number already. AC-21. AC-21. They're going to take the 357th with them. And everybody but the 301st. Which I'd really like to take out. No, he can go. What am I thinking? That's not there. Everybody but the 448th. They're the ones that are hurting. Alright, so that'll be paste, paste, paste. All right. Okay, back to our SOP here. Uh, determine weather and zones. See, I got a little so ahead of myself again. Weather and zones. Should do that before you assign targets because the weather makes a difference. In England, adding one. Eight. That's going to be clear. In zone one, seven. That's going to be partly cloudy. Zone 2, 10, clear. And zone 3, 5, partly cloudy. Good weather, great weather. Um, we're going to get a uh, plus 1 on the target on some of these if we're going in there. Target 8 is one of them, right? Yep. 
target eight we're going to get a plus one on and 14 will be just a straight up and that's probably going to be a milk run but I might just come down here just to try to instigate some trouble like I said I'm not shying away from the Luftwaffe in this one all right select targets to attack we did that we jumped the gun delay mission execution nope assign groups to each mission we've done that already jumped the gun again no no ASW needed no diversion now we're armed bombers so let's set up the first group the first target is target 8 send the current target send the target intel send the UK base alright now we will go over here and that is AC 21 AF 12 yeah, duh. Come on, Greg. Get it together. Uh, 91st and Friends. And um, I'm going to put the chin turret up for it. We don't have bad weather, so we don't have to worry about that. He's lead group. And we're going to try to hide the Memphis Bell in third. So we're going to go second. 306th is our uh, single plane. And I forgot to, again to give our, uh, ourselves an XP. We're going to hold on to that. We will roll um, bomber position. Um, we need to move this too. So we are now skilled plus two. So we're adding two. Nine, ten, eleven. We take lead. Wow. So that gives us a plus one air to ground. And that's lead group in our squadron. That's not lead group in the um, wing. That's just lead group in our squadron. So um, yeah, 16. Making sure I'm playing that right. Okay. Um, okay, that's uh, enough of that. I'm thinking that's all. I believe that is just our within our squadron, so we're lead group. It's not we don't have to be the lead um, squadron. So that's the way I'm gonna play it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Group three will be the Memphis Bell and crew. Group four will be the Holy Joe Johnson. Will fly with. He has evasion. And let's fly him with the 301st because they only have 0 to 6 and they already have a damage. So if we need to, we can use his evasion. And Ray has to fly with the uh, Memphis Bell and, and the 91st. suppression over all right and we bring over the 20th for this group oh not bring it over we'll send him over sign his escort and we might as well set up up here too come prone to forgetting that so let's go with 351st, 306th, come on, just the one, and the 91st and the 301st, 
and the 20th of fly high cover all right now I think we're set up for that um, purchase arm bombers and purchase equipment now this is an airfield so we're going to get this burst so that means the El Cheapos are worth plus two now um, other thing we got to do is we got to buy chaff that's a must Oh, there it's already up here. Let's go ahead and pour that down. Charge ourselves two. That's ten. That leaves us uh, twenty-two left. I only want to use ten on this mission, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. He has five more. I'm going to give him that, that plus two. Just because um, I want a couple of them at that. And that'll be all him. He, there's nothing we can do for just one. You know what? Belay that. Let's put that over here on him. And this guy, he will carry these and El Cheapos. Okay, that'll give him five six, and that costs two. And then we'll put them on him and El Cheapos in case we get the jettison. That's six. Um. Cheapos. I'm going to give him three El Cheapos. He's already plus two. And this guy here is going to need a little help. So you're at uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's a B17. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an El Cheapo. So that's ten. All right, that leaves us uh, 12 points for the next mission, two for chaff, and the rest for bombs. I uh, hope I don't regret that, because we already got plus two on these, but um, I think it's important we knock some of these out. All right, back to the SOP. Purchase equipment, done. Place commander tactics, done. Set up display, so we need to go to hex five. Boom. One, we're going right through the heart. And I'm looking for trouble. I really want to look for trouble. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three. Actually, if I really want to look for trouble, I can go one, two. I'm getting a little cocky, yes, because there is that minus two for the, uh, for the uh, campaign. And the fighters can see us all the way through. And we have good fighter coverage unless we get that dreaded... Uh, uh, fighter miscommunication or whatever that is. All right, we're going to go for we're going to try and draw in a lot of these and get and thin out the crops down here a little bit. I may pay for that, but what the hell? Uh, roll for Luftwaffe response, remembering that we're going to get a plus one. Are they cumulative? I'm going to pause this quick and see if they're cum cumulative or not. Okay, a plus one only applies to target. When England, it's it's we're just looking at if we get that mostly cloudy, that gives problems forming up, and that's when we got to start rolling the formation check. So um, we're just going to get that plus one response. So we're going to roll a d10. Two. That will be a poor response for them. Good thing I went deep. I'm at least going to pull some of them in. All right. Add four damage points to the target. Combined bomber operations. Discard that. And we'll add four damage to the target. So we're already doing good on it. All right. Drill target bound event. We just did that. Move mission counter towards target. And we are going right into the heart of it. Uh, no Luftwaffe interception because it's poor. Move counter again. 
we're going to get a Luftwaffe interception this time. Uh, no, form, no formation check necessary. Uh, Luftwaffe squadron interception. So poor means we can have a max of two. So two of these guys are going to come out. Flip the one. Flip the one. And they're going to come out on their black side. No bandit. And no bandit. Imagine that. When I want trouble, I can't get it. All right, uh, no bandit attacks, no replenishment. I should have just flipped now. Uh, fighter returns, no, we didn't dogfight, so there is no uh, engagement. And we're going to move mission counter towards target again. This time, boom, we are over target. He does not have any extra aircraft. So we're going to get two of them again. I'm going to flip these now. You're not supposed to flip them until later, but I'm going to do it right now. And these will return, rearm. Just don't want to forget. I tend to forget things, especially after work. And this is after work, so. <sighs> Luftwaffe interception, two on the black side. We got a winner, BF 109, and a no bandit. Well, BF 109 will take on our escort. And our escort is the 20th, and they are fast, plus 5, so he will fire first. 10, takes him out of the sky. We get a kill for the 20th. He doesn't get XP because he's already ace. And we move this one. Well, that's one of them anyway. And that is it for Luftwaffe interception. Oh, yes, we get an engagement on him minus two. Uh, fighter group returns to base. Nope. And we are over targets. And now we do the over target thing. Um, that previous damage, none needed. We have high intel, so we don't have to worry about uh, rolling for low intel. And now we're going to do flak attacks. We have plus two from the scenario. And we have a minus two for high intel, so that evens out. We have a plus two for the flak R radar, but we have uh, chaff, so that cancels that out. So it's going to be we're going to be rolling on zeros, except that all these guys will be 17s, and they have one durability. So we're actually going to be subtracting one from all the die rolls. In comes the 351st. One roll, minus one, seven six, miss. Bringing up their bombs. They are a plus zero. Plus one for the weather. Plus one for the target is plus two. Plus two for high intel is plus four. So we're going to add four for the Mark 44s. We got a 12. That's three damage. And we will return that to magazine. And then it's plus six for the M30s. Again, we roll 14, 2 damage, that's 6, 5 damage for him, 5 damage for him, yep. Return the magazine, 5 damage for the 351st. It's almost his best mission so far, he had a 6 earlier. And another 5, so... He's starting to get starting to get back into the game. He has had four rough missions. The last one wasn't bad, but they weren't up to par. All right, next in us in the 306th. Um, we're rolling minus one for flak. Two. That's a miss. Bringing in the bombs. We are plus one because in, we are the lead bomber and we have to use our lead ATG. And yes, I know that's a little dark, a little light, but I used the same font that was in the game. And I may have to do that somewhere along the line. Uh, plus one anyway. So we're going to add one. Add one for weather. It's plus two, plus three. Plus four, plus five. Plus six, plus seven. Plus seven for both rolls. Nine gives us four hits. And the target is damaged, I mean destroyed. We can overkill though. 
and then plus seven again eight one hit so you got five damage three hundred and six five damage good that, that looks like that ties our best no we also had a six but that's their second best and they had two of those five runs all right, that brings in the Memphis Bell. Again, minus one for Flack, six, five, no damage. They all have, they have all M30s. Um, he's a plus two, plus three for weather, plus one for the targets, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight. Nine, 10, 11, that's two. Well, not 917. Two damage. Two damage. And two damage. Three nines in a row. So we even got overkill. And last but not least comes the 301st. Subtracting one. No flak damage. They were a minus one, plus one for weather is zero, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus five on each roll, doing the GB4 first, 15, that's four more damage, and now before I forget, the 91st put six on there, okay, um, he got four, and Make that two tens in a row. 26 damage. Not only did we destroy it, but we obliterated it. He got six damage also. So everybody came out on that mission very well. All right. Um, draw homeward bound event card. Oh, we got to reshuffle. Homeward bound event. Tactics defeated. Remove any remaining tactics. Well, that sucks, but the way things have been going, we're not going to need them anyway. Okay. Um, discard that. And move mission counter towards UK base. Perform formation check, not needed. Luftwaffe interceptions. We got two of them coming at us. Black. And we get two two plane two planes this time. He can choose he can come after us. He only has the minus two, so both of them are gonna go after our, our ace and he's fast, so he will get the roll first. Um, adding five. Eight, miss, second one. 10. He'll take out the BF109, the second one. Gets another kill. And we move this again. This time we take one out. And because we're here, we'll return that to deck. And then we'll move this back to zero. Nice. That's what I want to do. Thin this out a little bit. All right, so they get to attack us now. And there's a minus two, minus three. I think he has a, yes, he has durability too. Minus three. They don't really scare me. Eight is a five. Miss. Second round, we fire back, adding five. Eleven takes him out. Again, another kill. We'll mark it on our sheet. And then we do the old uh, resolve band attacks, adjust loop while squadron replenishment. They will rearm, they will rearm. Two of these will flip to one. And we need to draw over in the engagement. But it's not going to matter. We still got minus seven. They go away at the end of the mission. We're still well within okay. And we are free, free sailing because of the uh, horrible um, German uh, response roll. All right, we'll put all those back and we'll do the end of the mission.
and we got another squadron off the uh, board. Actually, we're going to get more than a, another squadron off the board because that was a airfield, I believe that was. Or my damage covering it, I can't tell. <laughs> All right. Yeah, airfield AF. Okay. So, uh, debriefing. Determine for final target damage status. We have overkill, so we're going to get an extra victory point out of that. So that's going to be five victory points. Yay us. Which takes us up to 91. And as you see, we're in the good zone now. We still have many, many months to go. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. Um, that'll return to terminate no return to deck um, bring that over here and discard it okay um, record victory points XP so we'll go record the XP's everybody gets two the only ones that get them are the 351st not enough to promote and the 301st and they are enough to promote and they will go up to average 8 Average 8 will give us a plus 0 instead of a minus 1 air to ground. Still slow. And if we go up against U-boats, they'll be good against them. Or U-boat targets. So, uh, if we ever see them. Uh, record group status promotions. We just did that. Let's get all these guys returned to base. Turn them to the cup. Ray will go back there in 91st. And Johnson will go back to his wing commander slot. All right. Uh, and then we. Oh no, I lost my arrow again. Where the heck did I lose my arrow? Johnson moves. Arrow moves off board to target 13. There we go. I love Vassal, but sometimes it can Drive you nuts. Okay, aircraft factory. No, airbase target. Bandit destroyed counter updates. So we get to move it equal to the victory points, which was four, not the additional, but the extra that one. And because that was down here, we'll take one of these out, return to deck. And that moves back down to zero. And target eight returns to deck, and we draw another airfield. That will be Paris, France, and a, a four victory point one. And we're going to send that to target eight. And then we'll put target eight in hex nine. All right, remaining mission. Let's put everybody away up here. Managed to get rid of two of our uh, Luftwaffe squadrons. That helps. Can we bring about 15 in if we don't do something here, though? Uh, this will be current target. This will be current intel. That'll be going to UK base. Let's get our guys out here. It is um, these guys. We're going to split split up two. Uh, Wings do fly at the same target, letting some of them rest. 
so we don't have bad weather I'm gonna put bomb tote and mama in the lead that'll be the lead group because they have the chin turret and then we're gonna go ahead with hog wild ah. and we're gonna put the 93rd in there fly with he gives situational awareness they're pretty hurt and so we're gonna go ahead and put him there uh, just to keep make sure they stay away from getting hurt anymore all right uh, let's see here and down here oh keep forgetting that we never got attacked we never got hit by flak lead bomber bombing we used the lead ATG which we did post mission checks no, oh, next open mission box I forgot to do that last game oh last turn so that's why I moved it at the beginning um, earn XP's per XP earned by position chart we were the lead so we get four And I think we want to do the lead ATG a little bit more. So we're going to up that to three. Get rid of four of these. One, two, three, four. And I'll leave us two left. So let's move that one down to seven and get rid of these. All right, and we'll be ready for a mission start again. And here's hoping the uh, 398th will take up Tail and Charlie Group Four, and the 357th will fly escort. And I need to pull a good aim over for him. All right, arm bombers. We're gonna get two extra bandits when we get to that target, which is X14 up here. So that'll be the only two bandits. And I'm going to look for trouble again, too. So, um, this is not, it just takes, it's good against incendiary. So, um, we will carry some incendiaries. We're going to buy our chaff. We have uh, 12 points with, with, with which to work. English is my first language, and you'd never know it. Um... He has seven left. Well, he's a plus three. We got a plus one, a plus one, and a plus one. We need 13 points of damage. I'd like to get a lot of them with him. He's got seven left. B24. He can carry the Anzon. That'll even him out. That gives us uh, four weapons points. We got four more. I'll give him a Junkwin and a uh, Incendiary. That gives us eight. We spend three points. Well, actually five because of the chaff, but I already took that out. Uh, Hog Wild B29. I got seven points left. I think I'm just going to load him up with a whole bunch of M30s and an incendiary at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I think we're going to load him up with. Twenty-four. They can take an hands-on. Three, 
six. We have seven points left. These are unevens. I'm going to give him these. Both of those. Spend six points. Give him a a junk. That gives eight. And then we have a sixer down here. He gets two junk. Two good ones. That'll be six, seven. That's our final seven points. And then an incendiary, and that gives him six. That looks like a square load. All right, let's do this. Um, 458th, 499th. Ninety third and the three ninety eighth, and I believe we are ready. Oh no, we aren't. We forgot to do this one. Delay that one. I am looking for trouble, so I am going to go through the hard way, like that, and that is target three. Yes. So we're going to try to invite trouble here, and we need to roll for the uh, local off response. And that is again partly cloudy, is no extra rolls. Two, poor again. Well, we'll get two right here, and we'll get two right there. So we'll at least see four of them. We can get four kills. We'll knock another local off. No, we won't. We'll come up short. So, all right, that was a good shot. Uh, draw target bound event card. Things always get interesting here. Tailwind, increase the range of fighter groups by two. He can make it all the way anyway. So, thanks. Move mission counter towards target. This is group two. And we're going to have the Luftwaffe respo the response. And we're going to have one come at us on their black side. And that's going to be a BF-109. He will go after our fighter. Our fighter, again, is fast, plus six. So he will fire first. That'll be a nine. Does not hit him. They fire back. No modifiers, except the minus two for this scenario. Is four. No attack. I mean, no hit. We fire back, plus six. 10, that's a destruction. Get a kill for the 357th. And we move this over one. Resolve attacks, did that. Adjust loop lava squadron replenishment. Flips to the one side. That's right, coming back, we're going to get them too. So this is all right. We, we can actually flip it. Okay. Um, Move to, oops, need an engagement. That'll take us up to minus four. All right, we move towards counter. No formation check needed. Luke Wolf squadron interception. We get one on the black side. No bandit. Adjust uh, Luke Wolf squadron replenishment. They rearm. He flips to their one. We move towards base. No, uh, no uh, engagement because he did not dogfight, and we roll for Luftwaffe interception, which we get two because of this two down here. So let's pull them. They'll be on their black side also. And he will go against him, and that will discard. And there is no frontal because he does not have frontal. And so our fighter will go first at a plus six for 10. Minus zero is 10, so he destroys him with no problem. And that moves that one. Yeah, we didn't get the two we were hoping for, so there's our. There's our big chance. Um, yeah, we didn't get a we didn't get a bandit there, so yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to get rid of enough of them. 
Uh, okay, we're over target. Add previous damage, none. Resolve target flak attacks. Let's get the air down, I mean the, high, the uh, intel down there. Um, we'll put the chaff on here to alleviate that. The, the minus two here will offset the plus two from the scenario, so flak will be a zero from for two of them and a minus one for two of them but uh, 458 comes in they'll be rolling a zero two rolls belay that ten and a three that's uh, going to be good for one two three hits wow oops undo One. Hmm. Three hits. He's at minus five. Still okay. Could bring up his bombs. Sorry about that. Got a little confused. I do that sometimes. Uh, plus three. Zero for weather. Plus one for the targets. Plus four. Plus two for intelligence. Is plus five. Plus six. Plus seven. Nine. That's going to give us three. One, two, three. Off to a good start. Okay. He only gets plus five on this one because they're not dispersed. Only plus five. So that'll be two more hits. And then plus five for this one. Eight. So we got an incendiary hit. So he got five and an incendiary. That's the 458th. Good good rolls which brings up hog wild coming in they're going to roll for flak two dice rolls minus one five and a two both are misses bring up all their bombs and they have a lot of them all m30s so he's just going to have straight up modifiers. He's a plus one, plus zero for the weather, plus one for the targets, plus two, plus three, plus four. So we're going to add plus four. We'll do the first M30. Seven is a miss. Eleven is a two hit. Seven is a miss. Seven is a miss. Well, it's ten is two hits. So he did all right. Four, not his best mission, but uh, we'll take it. Okay. Um, oh, he had an incendiary. Forgot about that. That's going to be uh, an 11. That's going to be an incendiary hit, which we which we already have. So uh, unnecessary. Oh boy, I'm getting all kinds of messed up here. Uh, for incendiary, I will give him credit for an incendiary hit. That we have to. Okay. Uh, 93rd comes in. Flak at zero. Two dice rolls. Seven and a one. That's going to be one damage. That takes him up to six. They're still okay. Oh, not him. Takes him up to three. Come in with their bombs. They're a plus one. That'll be a plus two. Because of the target. Plus three, plus four because of the intel. We'll do the uh, M31st, that's plus four altogether. Nothing, no uh, plus two for that, so he's just a plus four. That's going to be two hits. And we'll do the ends on his next, which will both be a plus six. Nine is 15, so that's three. And 11 is three. He 
got eight damage. Wow. Nice shell. And that brings along the 398. 398 comes in, rolling two dice, minus one for the durability. Seven, six, and one. Six will get them a hit. And they will drop their bombs. They are a plus one also, so that's going to be a plus two for the target. And a plus four for the high intel. Two for the M30s. Five miss. M43s plus four, seven, ten, and eleven. That's two damage. And plus four, incendiary nine. That's an incendiary. So he got two damage. Two damage and an incendiary. All right. We have cycled through the bombs. Draw a homeward bound event card. Commander killed check. Anybody gets any damage, we got to roll for them. They got damage. No, they did not. They just got engagement damage. Um, Hog Wild did take some flak damage, so we'll have to roll for him when he get back home. And if these guys take any damage on the way home, we'll have to roll for him. Let's put that over here. Okay. Uh, move mission counter towards UK base. Oh. That should have been... These guys should have um, replenished last turn. I forgot to do that. Now we're going to do squadron interception. Ooh, BF-110. He'll go against my fighter. They're plus six. He gets first crack. Eleven. Down he goes. K for 357. It's almost too easy, isn't it? Fighters are all aces right now. I can rest easy, but they all have assignments, so we might just see problems later. And that goes to there. We're going to move here. I'm not going to reset these because we're not going to see them again. Uh, another Luftwaffe response. This time we get an 88. He goes after. We got a roll for which bomber group he goes after. Eight. Third. Be the 93rd. 93rd is a zero modifier. They get plus two for the scenario. Three. That's a miss. Return to base. And we return to base. And that is the end of that mission. So. We bring the little arrow back down to debriefing. Determine for final target damage status. We have to roll for incendiary. We will do so right now. We roll a 9. So even if we didn't destroy it, we would have moved it up to damage levels. Um, so we obliterated that target too. Um, let's roll for these guys. He didn't take damage. Glanceburg did. A 9 or a 10 is a kill. We got an 8. We made it. Good, I've already lost two commanders. I don't want to lose any more. Okay, um, that was worth three. We, first off, we'll re delete one of these out of the uh, reserve. And um, we get three victory points, and we discard that. So let's put the three victory points down there. That was a good week. Eight victory points altogether takes us up to 94. Um, XP for everybody that is not an ace. Let's return him to base. Return him to base. Hog Wild, the 499th, gets two. And that will promote them. And 499th will go from skilled eight. Ah, undo. I'm hitting buttons today. Bear with me. I'd like that to stay up there so you guys can see this. Guild 8 to Veteran 8 
and they have a plus two air to ground now. Veteran eight, 499th. Promoted the. I forgot to put them up there. I'm going to backtrack real quick. Uh, somebody promoted. 351st. Holy Joe. Average 8. 301st. Average 8. I'm going to put that down. Okay, back down. Four ninety ninth. Return to base. Ninety uh, third is already an ace. And three ninety eighth. They will promote. They become ace. Plus one fast. Return to base. And no more worrying about uh, XP for them. Now we just got to worry about them rolling to get out of there. Glansberg will return to his squadron, I mean, his wing commander position. Graham will return to his squadron. And it is first. Turn the cup. And that is it for let's see, that was an aircraft factory three, so we gotta get rid of one of these two. Alright, uh, end of week. No target repair rolls to be made. Add replenishment to rusted groups. So, who did not run? The 448. They will go down to. Oh boy. I wish that would stay up. I'm trying trying to make it so you guys can see this. They go down to minus five. My, I really got to get a cordless mouth mouse for my desk desk bleh, 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 desktop. Uh, the only other one that did not fly is the 322nd, and they are okay. They don't get a whole lot of usage because of their limited range. Um, now we go through and make sure all our replenishment guys get taken down a little bit. So here's one of them right there, the 93rd. He loses two. 458 loses one. 448 loses one. The 351st loses one. Oh, they're already at zero. And these guys lose two. They're at minus one, so they'll just lose one. And uh, that's it. Now, advanced weak marker. And on this, because it is September. Oops, get on over there, Greg. Because it is September and we only have three weeks, we go to month done. Uh, monthly sequence of play. Evaluate second secondary mission. Operation crossbow. Um, we had to get rid of all of the V-Weapon target sites, and we did manage to accomplish that. So all we really got out of that was XP. So that we can discard that. Um, the 262's secondary mission card flip new secondary mission card so we need to flip a new secondary mission card and 
that'll be oil campaign draw four oil targets destroy at least 10 oil VPs okay so we need to get oil targets draw four and we're going to pull them down here actually I'm going to just leave them right there it wants to fight me a little bit um, and I got to clean up my uh, oh another build I forgot aircraft, aircraft factory we just destroyed one and that was up in 14 and that was target 3 and we need to return that to deck so we know that's open and those two are going to fill up with aircraft factories so let's put our new um, targets let's go make one nine, one eleven, one twelve, and one thirteen. We'll go look at them in a second. Get rid of that. Um, hex three will be hard target twelve. Hex 12 will be 13. Hex 9 or I mean hex 9 hex 16 will be 9. Boy, I'm all tongue twisted and tied up here today. And um, target 11 will be hex 13. All right. Next up, make sure we have oil refineries. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I guess we can accomplish our mission. We have two months to destroy at least ten oil VPs. So we want to play this smart. We want to get the four, a three, four and two threes, and not really worry too much about the two. So that's what we'll do. Um, thinking, 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 thinking. I'm putting my aimlessly putting away my bombers as I get sidetracked. My OCD taken over. Um, War front adjustment. Okay, the ETO, we need to roll 8 plus to move that forward. Can we roll a 3? So that does not move again. Um, down here in the mid, we have no adjustments on either one of these. So we need to roll for the mid theater 10. That's going to move it to Italy. Plus two SO a week. I like that. And then Russia, we're going to roll a four, which stays the same. So, I like that. New Luftwaffe squadrons. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We will draw twelve of them. Let's bring them down here. And actually, let's bring them all down here. Uh, we're going to roll for Luftwaffe Squadron Theater deployment. Um, use when west is less than four. Um, it is not. Uh huh. Luftwaffe 1, that'll stay the same. One you know, Roll 1, we go there. We have 2, 3, 4, we'll go to the Med Theater. And 5, we'll go to, to Russia. So let's start rolling dice. First one, not that one. 8, of course that comes to us. 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 This happened last time too. Us. 
three. That goes to the med theater. Four. That goes to the med theater. Seven us. Seven us. Four med. Eight us. That's it. Now we start rolling for the ones that um, come to us. And we can't put it. None go behind the ETO theater. So. Um, we got. Uh, I'm sorry. Brain fart there. I can't put anything in 10. So 10. First one we re roll. 11. And I think. I assume that means just on here. Otherwise you start getting drawn into okay which ones I'm pretty sure that just means along that axis of the arrow right there so um, that'll be the only one that not gets them 10 again 14 9 or 19 19 14 16. Oh, that should have been 4 then. 4 and 9. Yeah, I was right the first time. 9 and 4. Sorry about that. I play so many games sometimes that you lose track of which ones count 0 as 0 and which ones count 0 as 10 and how you're supposed to do this, how you're supposed to do that. So, well, sue me. That will be 20. There is no 0. 10, can't do it, 9, I think 9 is buried there, yes, 10, 10, can't do it, 15, okay, all the German priority hexes are covered, so we don't have to do anything there. Build factories. So we're going to draw two more factories and return these to deck. And draw two factories. And we need what targets one and three. Yes, targets one and three. Go to send to target one. We'll take a look at them over there. Target one and target three. All right, first aircraft factory target one is in hex 14, Rostock, Germany, hex 14. And target number three is in hex 13, and I don't even want to pronounce that, Wolpe, France. Wolpe, not sure. Hex 13, I, I'll butcher that one, that's for darn sure. Hey, I just play games. I'm not an English major. Mechanic all the way. Mechanic and jarhead. What can you what can you say? German defense commander. Technology ava technology availability. We now the ME262 will come down here to German technology. plus two a month and that's September so um, plus two a month means we add two two me 262s I've never used them yet you know what I may have a dilemma here because I do believe that I never accounted for adding the 262s hmm <laughs> there you are never mind we're just gonna add two of them return to bandits deck 
Return to Bandage deck. Yep, there they are. Good. Whew. Thought I'd had a brain fart there when I made this. I was like, I knew I put everything in there, and I shouldn't have put them out because of the uh, availability of them in um, the campaign. German Group Commander Replacement Check. He replaces on a roll of 6+. Just not get replaced. Good. I don't mind him too much. We already have the 262s to face, and we already had the 190s to face, and he's not that drastic and in, in, uh, or aggressive as a responder either. So, monthly housekeeping group reassignment check. This is where it's going to get a little scary. We'll start right here. Nine plus eight. He's okay. Nine plus for the 499th. Four, he's okay. Eight plus for the 458th, he's okay. Nine plus for the 448th, he's okay. So first wing's good. They're my priority. I want them around. Um, nine plus for the Memphis Bell. And I get to assign one of these guys to subtract one from the roll. And I'm going to make out the Memphis Bowls, the Memphis Bell. So uh, on it, he, he needs a 10 or more to, to uh, reassign. No, he's fine. And the 306, that will be us. Nine or more. He's fine. Fighters. No, no, third wing. 10 plus for the 322nd. Nine. And a nine plus for the 398 or 358th. Nine. He gets reassigned. So I, I actually don't have a place to put the ones that. Reassigned. I may want to look into that. For right now, we'll pull down the pull down this. Actually, we could return him to B17 deck because we already have all these guys down here. Oh, what are they? Huh. Thinking. Bear with me, guys. Okay, that, I have them there just in case. They're uh, you know, starting October 44. They can take place of the uh, 55th. I was just trying to figure out why I had six stacks here. These guys got reassigned, so we're just going to go move them to the B-17G. and We know that they're done then. And we're going to, uh, he's over. We'll uh, have to, that was the, three ninety-eighth, And we will knock them out. And I will color in their whole track up until that point as yellow so I know that that was the 398th and I think I'll make a note for it down here in September yeah monthly notes let's do this 398th reassigned yellow results you can't see what I'm doing here. I'll flash this over later. Okay, and um, we don't replenish them right away. We have to buy something. On to the fighters. Ten or more. He's fine. Ten or more. He's fine. I knew we'd start losing people. Okay, uh, monthly replacement points. We get... 18. First and foremost, let's get two off of him. That'll take us down to 16. And my main group's up here. Um, 16. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. Eleven. 
11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. used up all my replacement points. Oh, actually there should be a zero too. We're going to forgo that just in case I added wrong. Adjust time campaign timeline. Okay, so we move the marker from month end to week one. We stay in 44 because we're going to move this to October. Again, we only have three weeks. And I'm not sure if these 262s stay in there or not. Because they're really, they're really worthless right now. We do got to remember to remove all recon, one from all recon die rolls. So I'm going to bring this card up here. And I'm going to put it right there. Right where I put my recon. And of course the recon is not going to fit on top of it. This way I will have to look at that when I do recon missions and know that I uh, do have to subtract one from all recon so I don't forget. Alright, let's make up a uh, October in my Excel sheet. There's what I was doing earlier, highlighting the, the 398's uh, accomplishments and typing it in here. And um, now we've got September. We need to put October in. And um, we might as well make a couple more copies yet. You know what? October, let's black that out too. And then we're going to make some copies of this for. Oh, let's just do this. November, December. Let's keep adding them on. All right, that'll be it for now. Thank you all for joining me again. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm enjoying the crap out of this campaign and this game. And um, hope you all continue to uh, check in, check out the videos. Um, I really do them just because it's fun for me to sit here and chat away while I'm playing the game. It helps keep me alert, remembering moves and not, uh, rules. Moves. Yeah. English is my first language. And. Uh, and um, not take shortcuts and forget things and get lackadaisical. So there you have it. Thanks again and take care.